What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another video on the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you guys about what to look out for today on the Sunday. Obviously, we're going to get some weekendly sell-off today, so I want to show you guys a few things, uh, what to look out for, what to expect, uh, and you know potentially how to make some coins today as well. So, before we get into the video today, if you guys can, drop a like on the video. Let's hit 100 likes, that would be awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Turn the notification bell on as well. Get involved with us over on the Discord. Get involved with us over on the Twitch channel as well. The Discord has free training tips, free guides, stuff like that. Let's get into the video. Um, so, we are going to be getting some weekend league sell-off. We've already actually started uh, getting some weekend league sell-off. Um, so, we'll go through that. Now, let me just give you guys a little bit of an account progress. So, we did a ton of icon flipping on, um, on Friday. And we made bank. We made a lot of money, okay? Uh, we're looking at like 6 700 k on the Friday. Just from all these icons that we were trading with. Um, my best flip of them was probably uh, that Lom you saw. Which I bought him at 311. Uh, I, I bought this at like 133. Like we were, we were getting some really good flips on Friday. We were just taking advantage of like the, the panic that was in the market. Uh, and we took advantage of the market really rising a lot. And there was a lot of... Um, there's a lot of you know, coins to be made in that market because the market just kept rising and rising. So it was a really good market to trade in. We'll talk to you guys what could happen from here on out. I tried to experiment with uh, Wijnaldum here. It's not really working out too much for me. Um, making about maybe 500 coins a card here. Um, unfortunately, um, I bought like 50 of them. I'm trying to get like a little bit of a rebound. N never really saw too much of a rebound there. He dropped from like 34k all the way down to like 26 so I was like, let me pick some up, and I'm making like 500 to 1,000 a card. Um, we actually thankfully got a Varan in a 100k pack from the objectives. Make sure you guys are completing objectives because we just got a Varan for pretty much, you know, for free. So now we're going to be able to sell this for profit. We got a couple of Lozanos we're trying to flip here. Don't really know where he's at. But let's talk about Sunday, what you guys can potentially do to make some coins. Um... We're looking at about eight and a half million. We spent about 800k on the uh, league on upgrades. Um, if I'm being honest with you guys, I don't think you guys should do any of these um, these just coin sig SBCs, these double upgrades. Don't do them. Um, I didn't get any luck. I did about 30 of the league on. Uh, I did about five of these. I did about 15 of the prem ones, uh, the double upgrades, and they just didn't really pay off for me. So I probably spent a good seven eight hundred k. But I don't know if a lot of people are actually doing it. So, you know, now we're finally getting these one albums to sell, which is good. Um, I, I don't really think it's really worth it. Now, we are going to be getting some uh, some new record breakers today. Now, if you take a look at some of the record breakers uh, on the popular page on Fuppin, right? You have La Liga, you have the Chinese League, you have La Liga again, League on, Bundesliga, and we also have um, you know, Galatasaray, which is, I think it's the Turkish League. So... That is the selection of players. Now, if we get another five, I'm hearing Van Dyke is in. That's what I'm hearing. That's the one name that's kind of circling around uh, the community. I would expect um, at 6 p.m. I can't even find his card right now. But I would expect him to probably rise his gold card if he does get put in. Now, I think it's going to be a little bit early, the promo yet again, uh, because... Uh, I think the promo packs are expiring in a certain amount of time here. Uh, so if you take a look here, uh, you have 100 Ks, you have 50 Ks, and you have 50, uh, 45 Ks. These are expiring in six hours and 53 minutes. So again, they're going to be starting whatever the whatever content they're starting. We're probably going to get some more flash species today as well, um, and we're going to get a new record breaker team, five new players. I would expect if you guys want to do this, it, it's not like amazing but depending on the player selection that they put in um i believe Syria rares are kind of like one of the guys that just aren't really up that much uh if you look at insolity here he is for example this would be a guy that would go up a decent amount because he's a left mid he's argentinian uh and right now he's like 800 900 coins that you can buy him if you guys want to say they bring out like i don't know like a record breaker dibala i know i don't know what he did but that would be like kind of cool if they did something like that you might have some more people doing the Syria upgrade, and you could see the rares kind of go up a little bit. Now, another way to make a lot of coins today, um, people are doing that upgrade, 
uh if you want to i think you know when all the packs are done okay uh you guys can then buy the rares for whatever they're going for so like for example i go to like the cheapest rare in league on because again league on is one of those leagues that a lot of people want to do because of the mbappe the neymar the lack of uh you know 81 plus cards in that league so what you guys can do is you can buy these guys at like a couple hundred coins under their current price and then you can lazy list them a couple hundred coins higher than where they're actually going for because if you take a look at a guy like sarabia here you're gonna see guys that are gonna be um buying these guys for you know look at this two thousand coins here uh you got 2100 there right you're gonna see people like lazy buying these cards if they're doing the upgrade so we'll put a couple on our transfer targets and we'll see if any of these guys get bought um for you know over the current price and this is a really good way to make coins and it's kind of like low budget which works a lot now this is also a filter you guys can use where you just snipe league on rares for under whatever they're going for like that card right there and you just sell it back um you can do it from the prem you can do it from league on and get a little creative with it as well you can go like for example uh the cheapest prem rare is let's see let's see it's like probably like a thousand coins um maybe even lower than that yeah it's like 1100 a thousand so just kind of make it look like the left back one right and maybe there's less people on it the cheapest left back you know 1400 coins something like that center back just kind of change it up a little bit see if there's a little bit of a, a difference there uh tomori at at 1200 surely that was a really good deal uh wow he's dropped a lot yeah 1200 coins isn't that bad for these guys you can make a couple hundred a, uh, a card so you can do that today that's a really good way to make some coins um, I would today really capitalize on panic selling. Um, now I'll tell you guys some of the markets to look into, but panic selling today is going to be absolutely crazy. I think, uh, we got some panic selling earlier this morning on the Saturday. And I think we're going to see it again today because people have this thing on their minds that there's going to be, you know, a repeatable team of the week, uh, tradable pack. If that does come out today, then the market could drop again. Uh, a base you know icon again maybe a middle icon right they could do something like that but i wouldn't like worry about you know what ifs on the market i would try to you know capitalize on any sort of panic selling we see today so if you see any panic selling on you know i'd say out of packs uh golds right guys like rashford guys like conte um you know really the high tier meta as well like veron you know guys like mbappe if you need to buy some cards for your team in my opinion, if you see a guy like Mane dropping, regardless if they're going back into packs on Tuesday, for, from my like personal experience, they're not going to drop on Tuesday and Wednesday. Like because they get back put back into packs on Tuesday and Wednesday, doesn't mean they're going to drop. Um, you may see a little bit of drop off, but you're not going to see a massive one. And I think odds are they're going to stay up, if not go a little bit higher, because on Tuesday we're going to get UCL marquee matchups. I don't believe they get those top tiers are going to get supplied that much and they're gonna probably rise even higher on thursday as we saw last year the market peaked because of the different circumstances last year the market peaked on the thursday before team of the group stage a week after black friday so i think any of these guys like mo salah for me would still be a buy like you guys can buy some cards for teams today if you're looking at these prices like a 300k for a salah or a 310 for a Mane, you know, um, a 300k for Van Dyke would be good. You know, Messi's still down at 510, 520. These guys, they're out of packs. They're going to go up again, right? They're top tier meta. They're going to go up again. Um, so these could be good opportunities to, you know, buy them for your team if you need them, if you haven't bought them yet because they're kind of back down. Um, or you can capitalize on some other cards. For example, Road to the Finals. Now, Roads of the Finals are really good to trade with because they're rare now. They're starting to get rare. But I would really be fixated on looking at this market. That is what I'm going to be doing today. So a guy like Akanji for me. Now, do a little bit of research, right? You want to be looking and seeing what is happening in the UCL groups right now. What is happening? So if you look at Akanji, okay, he yesterday, he went from 220 all the way. He kind of chilled around 220 all day. Um, he then, uh, if I take a look at his graph, he went to 226. He just went down to 220 again. If you could find this at like 210, 205, like for me, that's a really good price because I showed you guys the graph in a, in a previous video. But I mean, look at all of these roads to the finals. They just went up and up and up uh, the week after Black Friday because people wanted to build teams with cards that had live stats, players that had the potential to go up in price, but also in up and overall. So 
Road to the Finals for me, especially if they have favorable matchups, they're going to go up because there's going to be games this week as well. And it's going to paint us a clearer picture of where these guys are going to be going, you know, whether they're going to make it out of the group stage uh, or they're going to, you know, fall to the Europa League. So we can see different market moves because of that. Um, I would take advantage of any panic selling on the road to the finals. Now, I do expect there to be more panic selling, obviously, in the morning. So, you know, look at rule breakers, guys. Rule breakers are cards that, you know, for example, this guy is getting, like, not Kyle Naglu, but Quadrado is getting a little low for my liking. Um, this guy was 250,000 coins on the th on the Saturday morning, right? He drops all the way down to 217. He rebounds back to 240. He recently dropped down, flipping capped him at like a 210, all right? For, for me, that's a 40k drop-off. So, like, if you're seeing this on the Sunday, right, you're going to have an hour of people probably selling teams off because they, obviously, there was a lot of buyback this week. But if you take a look at a guy like Quadrado there, right, 225 right now, for me, th these are cards that are going to go up on Monday. We're going to see a market rebound, in my opinion. Same with those metal gold cards. Regardless if they're in packs or not, I don't think the supply is going to be big enough on that Monday. I don't think there's going to be as many people opening up packs for Cyber Monday as you guys might think. Uh, and if we get lightning rounds on the Sunday, then the market that I, I would expect to probably get sold off even more is the Gabriel Jesus, the Wijnaldum, um, you know, the Aguero, uh, the Fabinho, right? These type of cards I would expect to maybe drop a little bit today. So that's the kind of market I would expect to drop. Um, if you do even see more panic selling after 6 p.m. or just sell off in general, you should see a rebound this week on, on most of the top tier meta. Uh, like I said, the market is going to go up again. There's just too many coins in this market. So really just taking advantage of like panic selling or sell off, uh, whatever you'd like to call it. But I'm going to be paying attention to the rule breakers. I'm going to be paying attention to the road to the finals in particular. And you guys can take a look at some of these uh, ones to watch cards. Uh, they're starting to mark and move at the moment as well. You've got a bail at 122. So he's starting to rise now. Uh, Tellus is still down for me. Now he, um, he he's going to be getting into the lineup most likely today. But, you know, you never know with Ollie. Um, you know, as a United fan myself, you just never know what's going to happen. Uh, if I take a look at him, uh, there's a 94. Okay, so there's a multiple 94s. Like, for me, like, if whenever you're watching this video, if you can find him at 90k, um, he should go to, like, 99, not 100. Like, he should. He doesn't have that much supply. So, just take advantage of some of these, like, ones to watch is that they're still kind of low before their lineups are announced. Uh, and then the past team of the weeks, obviously, right? Because we're going to see some sell-off. We're going to see, you know, maybe Vardy at, like, 160, right? Maybe, like, a Lozano at, like, 55, 56, right? Take advantage of any of these, like, lower drops. Because you guys know the drill. Every single Sunday, we do see a rebound on cards. Rather, whether they're in packs or not, we do see a market rise on them. So, that's what I'd be looking at. I would also be taking a look at some of these best of cards. I don't know if today's the buy day, but depending on how low they drop prior to 6, we'll determine how high they'll rise after. So, if EA doesn't come out with like a great pack SBC or anything like crazy with content... Whatever panic selling happens in the morning, everything's going to get bought back up right away. You're going to see a bunch of panic buying uh, at after 6 p.m., depending on what content we do get. So pay attention for that. You're going to see a buyback at 6 if we don't really get anything crazy. Um, I would really be looking at some of these out-of-pack Team of the Week cards. I don't know what EA did this year, but if you look at past years, the best of Team of the Week fell a lot compared to this one where, I mean, these guys really are hardly down. From where they were kind of you know obviously Mane kept dropping and dropping and dropping but he was 615 on wednesday and he's that same price like he is literally um that same price he's like 600k so you're not seeing much of a rebound i think it's pretty healthy they probably didn't get as much supply this year um and i think there's a lot of people that were waiting to buy this weekend as well for those kind of guys so you'll probably see them rise into the week as well once they go out of packs on tuesday uh, the record breaker cards, you could be able to trade with these as well, depending on the, you know, the panic sell we get prior to six. Um, you know, a guy like Sancho, a guy like David Silva, they kind of fluctuate a decent amount. Um, and yeah, you could take advantage of golds as well. If the meta gold cards, the Pogba's, uh, the Joe Gomez, the Verners, the Martial's, if these type of guys, the Mendy's as well, if they drop today, you could probably pick up for your team if you want to. 
uh, if you need to play this weekend specifically. But also with, you know, just kind of maybe a quick rebound, right? That's kind of, like, when you buy these amount of golds, and we sh I'll show you on my transfer list. Um, I might have just actually cleared him, unfortunately. Um, I did. But we were trading with, like, guys like Abamyang, okay? And Abamyang always rebounds. He's such a good card to always rebound. So if you take a look at Abamyang right now, he's 110k, okay? But every single time this guy drops, so on Friday, he goes to 1. 139 140 he drops all the way to 121 he spikes back to like 133 he goes down to 123 he rebounds back up to 131 he goes down to 113 back up to 117 and you know there's just kind of like little like fluctuations with meta golds as they're getting supplied but they also are getting too low to the point where they will go back up in price so it'll be interesting to see like how much buyback we actually see on the market today um with those meta gold cards because again these guys were getting bought up so much because of weekly demand but what happens if it's a sunday and everyone's done with their games what happens to these gold cards so it's gonna be very interesting i think prior to squad battles you could probably look at buying these guys uh and then maybe seeing a rebound overnight into monday like i said if they do cyber monday lightning rounds i don't really see many people opening up that many packs so just kind of be on the lookout for that let me go take a look at the transfer targets here um any of these sarabis got bought of course they didn't get bought okay one got bought okay that's fine that's all i want to know i wanted one get bought that's how you guys can lazy list you know these rare cards um how you guys can make a little bit of coins today other than that um tech of gonna be a little hard today because the lack of um you know buy power you know not many, not many people are buying for teams at the moment uh and you also have these flash species that we're going to be getting on sunday now as well from what ea has confirmed so be on the lookout for a supply like that. Um, and like I said, I think we should see a very healthy market rise uh, this week, especially after Monday's lightning rounds. I think we should see a really nice rebound. Um, as long as EA doesn't bring out some like crazy content where it's like a your repeatable icon or a middle icon or a team league upgrade that is tradable, I don't see much of a drop off unless it's panic or it's just a sell off. So take advantage of any of like the team of the weeks, the road to the finals, do some research, get involved with their games, and you guys should have a good amount of time uh, to pick some cards up in the early morning today. So thank you guys for watching the video today. I appreciate it. Come subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.